it was my mom's birthday last week and i made her some gizzard spaghetti stir fry and i decided to share that today with us on the channel Hi people, welcome to my vlog. My name is Susan and I love to share all things DIY, craft, family, lifestyle, you just name it. So for this special gizzard spaghetti stuff, we are making use of gizzard of course and chicken, some tomato puree, this is just a mixture of my tomato, onions and peppers. Then I'm going to be using all my green bell pepper red bell pepper some carrots this already washed and sliced then some spices please check the link beneath this description box for a detailed recipe now i'm going to use my favorite onga cubes and onga spice the first thing i'm going to do is to dice my gizzard that i already marinated and i already boiled so this is the first thing i was going to do. I dice it into cubes and then i'm going to move on to fry my chicken I'm going to add some oil into my pan. I'm going to add my chicken and fry. Today's special is for Nikke Akinsui. Thank you so much for joining this wonderful family. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I see them all. So once I've fried the chicken, I turn it to the other side to make sure they are golden brown. And then I also added my gizzards. I had some gizzard left. I added them and I fried them. Now to all my new subscribers, please, please, please show your support. Show your, show your support because YouTube has been telling me that I have more people that have not subscribed that are watching my videos. It means you are enjoying my content. So please, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to notify of all my recipes my diys my crafts i share every day yes every day by 6 pm i drop new videos so once this were fried i took them off the oil this oil is odorless i took it off the oil and i'm going to add my tomato puree this is just tomato blend tomato peppers onions scotch bonnets or or, or atarudo then tatashi that's just a rough blend of it. I added it to that particular oil because I wanted the fragrance of the meat to reflect in the tomato puree. So I fried this, I fried this well for some minutes till the oil was coming up, so that it was really fried. Then I added my my diced um, gizzard. I added it there. Before adding that, I added my spices, my curry, my thyme, my Onga spice, my onga kill, my salt to taste. Please check the description box beneath this video for everything I use. Then I stir this well, add it to fry, 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 and then when I was satisfied, I added my diced gizzard and then also let this fry for a few minutes. And I scooped out the tomato puree off the the heat so this cooking was done twice i'm doing this in night to the day i wanted to cook i really do this whenever i have um other so for clients i do the prep the veggie the veggies the tomato puree i do them in night too so after scooping the tomato puree and the beef or the meat rather from the oil i see a little oil remaining in the pan i went and added my veggies my green bell pepper red bell pepper carrot allow the stir fry for three to five minutes just enough time for my carrot to be soft but not completely soft still having that crunch then i added some red onion that already diced to give it extra crunch you don't want your veggies to be completely fried next i added my favorite onga spice that's all I added. This contains stock cube, onion powder, garlic powder, and some other spices. I added it into my my veggie stir fry, and once I was satisfied, I I took it off heat. Now these are the things that I prepped for the next day: my meat, my spaghetti, my spring onion that already diced, my tomato puree, and that's all. To the next day, the meat stock from my gizzard and chicken 
I boiled it and then added my spaghetti as long as it is. Now, this is the only time I don't break my spaghetti. When I'm making special spaghetti for babies or, or, or client order, this is the only time I don't break my spaghetti. On the norms, I break my spaghetti too. too. Yes, I'm a full, full-fleshed Nigerian. <laughs> So I'm using my tongue to turn the or stir the spaghetti around so that it doesn't stick to one another. Although golden pen spaghetti doesn't doesn't stick. So added extra water when, when I discovered my water wasn't okay. I made a packet and half of the spaghetti. So I allow this cook for three to five minutes. See when the spaghetti is almost done, but not completely done. That is, you can still bite through it, but it's not completely cooked. That is how it's supposed to be. Then once this was ready, I turned it into a basket to drain out the, the water. And then I went back to my pot. I went back to my pot, added my tomato puree into it and added the already drained spaghetti into it. And I tried using my tongue to stir, but it's quite, this was a large, large um, cooking. It was a bit large, one and a half packets of spag spag or pasta i used that to use my wooden spoon and um, wooden spatula to stir this in well and then once i stirred it well i went over and allowed this cook for for two to three minutes and then i added my my veggies that i already prepped a night before I added them into it now i'm cooking as early as 5 a.m yeah yes added them into it and then allow this stir then I tasted it to make sure my seasonings were okay. I discovered my seasoning was not too okay. I went over and added more seasoning. My unga spice, um, mixed spice, my my unga cubes and all that. Then allow it cook for 2 to 3 minutes. Then I finally added my spring onion that already dies. Now this I only allowed this cook for a minute because I wanted my spring onions to retain that freshness that's crunch so i just allowed this cook for a minute after stirring it and that was all that's how simple my gizzard spaghetti stir fry was yes that was that was it if you are still watching it means you enjoy my video please 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 subscribe and support us and remember to hit the notification bell to be notified of all my simple recipes diy live vlog that i share every day so this was ready and I was ready to serve. Now I remember I was making this on my mom's birthday. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the next the next slide is how I was I was doing my prep. I got a magic mug with any written on it, made uh, added some beverage into the mug and then served it inside one of our favorite plates. Now she couldn't finish it though. I know she was not going to finish the spaghetti I served there, but I just served her like that after all she's a celebrant <laughs> so that's all from me for today thank you to all my returning subscribers thank you for your support see you in my next video bye